Team USA just beat Pakistan in the men's T20 World Cup. Not supposed to happen. I was making a ton of different breakdowns, all the moments, and maybe I get to a, a bunch of them later, but I, this these two balls from the Super Over, I think, sum up exactly what happened this entire game. Team USA turned everything into runs. They kept the pressure on. So on the left, you got USA. On the right, you got Pakistan batting, and you have two balls that are aimed at the wide line, the blue line to the uh, left side of the batter from our point of view. And you have Aaron Jones, who's standing on third stump and then presenting it as a wide, got his butt way far away. And then the Pakistan batsman, he stepped further over to fourth stump or whatever. And he, you know, gives it a, gives it a swing, kind of shows the umpire it's within reach. So the umpire does not call it a wide on Pakistan, calls it, a wide on two, Team USA. So that's automatically a one-run difference, right? Because it's a dot ball on the right and a wide on the left. But then you got the keeper for USA handling it perfectly, and Pakistan a bobble, and then throws it away. And now a dot ball on the right, three runs on the left for Team USA. I believe they scored the same amount of runs off batted balls in the Super Over USA just had way more extra runs, and they they batted a righty and a lefty, which made the bowler have to figure that out because he's aiming for that wide line because that's the longer boundary. Well, that wide line to a lefty batsman's behind his legs, and that's that's a wide, so that's runs. And they ran on everything. Meanwhile, Pakistan running on nothing, doing nothing to force extra runs. Look at this. You can see the difference here of where their body is, how it's presented to the umpire and that's the difference they just turned everything into runs they knew that they were going after that wide line and they knew when to go after it get the boundary when to leave it good job team usa